the octet on the hostile the tartak sutta some speak with hostile minds while some speak with minds bent on truth the muni does not become involved in an arisen dispute therefore the muni has no barrenness anywhere how could one transcend one's own view if drawn by desire one is entrenched in a preference taking one's own view to be perfect one would speak as one understands when a person without being asked proclaims to others his own good behavior and observance the skilled say he is one of ignoble nature since on his own accord he proclaims himself but when a peaceful bhikkhu one inwardly quenched does not boast of his good behavior by saying i am thus the skilled say he is one of noble nature he has no swellings anywhere in the world one who has formulated impure teachings put them together and advanced them becomes attached to the benefit he sees for himself to that peace dependent on the unstable attachments to views are not easily overcome having decided among teachings one tightly grabs a view therefore among those bases of attachment a person rejects and takes up a teaching one who is cleansed formulates no view anywhere in the world about various states of existence having abandoned hypocrisy and conceit through what would the cleansed one go astray when he is uninvolved one involved in embroiled in disputes about teachings but how about what could one dispute with one uninvolved nothing is taken up or rejected by him he has shaken off all views right here